Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me in another video. As you know, I have been away for a hot minute. As you can probably tell, I no longer have a baby bump. I've had my baby, he rocked up five weeks early on the day of his baby shower. It was all very dramatic. Um, but anyway, that's a story for another day. He's doing really well. His name is Noah and he is the cutest little bubba. Ever. Anyway, I am back and I'm super excited to be shooting my first video of 2022 and of course it had to be a Zara haul because I know how much you guys love them. I was a little bit anxious about doing a Zara haul just because I have been on Instagram and seeing loads of reels where people are talking about how ridiculous Zara sizing is at the minute and I thought like with a postpartum body that's not the time for like one of your favourite shops to change their sizing guide. But I have just decided to go with medium throughout this haul. Usually like pre-baby I would have gone for smalls but I thought, let's go with mediums. If it comes up too small, it comes up too small. If it comes up too big, it comes up too big. But anyway, I'll talk you through the sizes as we go through anyway. And also for reference, I am 5'4", because I always get asked and sometimes I do forget to say, but I always leave it in description anyway, my height. I'm 5'4". I don't really know what size I am anymore, so I'm not even gonna bother trying to tell you. Like before I'd have said I was like between an eight and a 10, whereas now I'm literally like, I haven't got a clue. So let's just see. I would say this is more of like a spring focused tool, obviously like, you can wear the stuff I picked up throughout the summer, but it's definitely more spring focused. But I will be doing a summer haul very shortly. But yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys the bits I've picked up. So I'm just gonna dive straight in because I have got some really cute pieces. Right, so the first piece that I picked up is this really cute little corset inspired crop top in this deep khaki color. I really do love these little crop tops and these are one of the things that I was like desperate to get my hands on once I no longer had a bump. It's got this lovely little boning detail that goes through the front which gives it that kind of corsety type vibe. It's got a little zip on the side so that it's a bit easier to get on but then it's like got a little elasticated back as well so it does stretch over your head nicely. And I just thought this was super cute. I love the color of it. So I picked this up in a medium and I think the size of it is like okay. I find like with tops like this I always really like them but I do find that sometimes they'd be quite fiddly in terms of if you don't get exactly the right size you're either like pulling them up or like pulling them down or like constantly like repositioning your chest inside them and I find that can be a little bit annoying when you are just wanting to wear like a cute top like this on a nice little date night you don't really want to be there like fiddling with yourself the whole time um it ends up looking a bit tacky sometimes doesn't it it definitely does feel like tight enough I probably could have done with it being a tiny bit tighter but I've worn it braless and I'm thinking if I was to pop a bra underneath it it might work a little bit better and um, give it like a little bit more resistance so it doesn't slip down so much not that it slips down loads but I do feel like I I'm tempted to constantly like pull it up just when I was like trying on for the try on clips it is quite a short little crop top but if you wear it with like a nice pair of high-waisted trousers it does sit on top of them quite nicely I've shown it style with my jeans and I've also popped my khaki blazer over the top as well and that's kind of like a bit of a lighter shade than this and I think it just works really nice as a little two-tone kind of vibe and yeah I'm really happy with that look I think it looks really nice all together so next I picked up a straight leg pair of cargo pants and I have been wanting to get my hair on a pair of nice cargo pants for like the last three spring summers these are though a very nice pair they're in a very light they call it like a camel color on the website but I would definitely say this is more of like a cream maybe you could say like a sandy color but yeah I definitely wouldn't say that it's camel because it's very light you've got two big pockets on the side then you've got flaps at the back to give a little bit of pocket detail, but they're not real pockets, which is good, because you would be able to see the outline of them on your bum, which wouldn't be very nice. And then you've got two slip pockets at the side. So I picked these up in a size 12, and that's perfect for me. They fit me just right. The only thing that's a little bit annoying about them is that the button came off, literally, as I was taking them out of the box which is a little bit irritating. So I'm gonna have to send them back and order another pair because I do actually really like the fit of these. Ah, uh, another thing I also want to mention about Zara now, in case some of you haven't noticed and they're ordering stuff, is that they charge you for returns now when you wanna take them back to the post office or Hermes or whoever. I think it's like £1.95, which to me, I think is still probably better than having to go to a Zara store and queue up for, literally it can be like half an hour, they get so busy in there. Um, but I just wanted to make sure you guys were aware of that because I have no idea. It was my boyfriend that told me. I don't know why he knows more about Zara than I do, but there you go. Um, the only other really annoying thing about these trousers, and this is a real pet peeve of mine, I don't know if you're the same, but they have belt loops at the front, as you can see, but then there's no belt loops at the side or at the back. So those belt loops at the front are purely for decoration. And oh, I find that really annoying because I do quite like having the option to wear a belt. And I also think pair cargo pants like this would have looked really nice with a black belt and a black crop top. But yeah, I wanted to see what these 
these would actually look like with the khaki crop top and the blazer just because I thought those tones look quite nice together and that worked out really well actually um, but I had more envisioned just wearing these with like white air force on my feet and then just like a white cami top and then maybe a linen white shirt thrown over top just for like a really nice like spring summer sort of look. Then I also picked up this really lovely linen suit so I'm already wearing the blazer just because I love it so much I didn't want to take it off. Um, it's got like these really strong lapels, it's quite a masculine oversized fit. The button detail on it is just absolutely gorgeous, they're like these really lovely big brown buttons that almost look like rocks. Which I think just gives it a really nice sort of unique kind of feel. I think it already is a bit of an oversized fit where it's in a masculine style so I just went ahead and got it in a medium and I'm really happy with the size of it on me. It does give you that really nice sort of oversized feel. And I really love like a linen set for the summer when it is like warm but not necessarily warm enough that you want to have like all your skin on show um, and I just find linen can sometimes be a bit scratchy whereas this feels really nice and soft and smooth. So the bottoms I got in a medium and they are a little bit roomy on me so I do want to see what a small would fit like but again I really love the cut of these, they drop really nicely, they're obviously very long on me but that's to be expected as I said I am 5'4 so I will have to get these turned up. I really love the colour that this is because it's like a beigey colour that goes really nicely with white but it also looks really good with black especially where you've got the black detail buttons on it as well. I've shown it styled with a black asymmetric top underneath and I think that looks so cool especially like on a hotter day you could just wear the trousers and a black top like that and I think that would look really cute um, but it does also look great with the blazer thrown over top as well but I also think this set would look really lovely with like a knitted or like crocheted cami top underneath in like a creamy colour or like an off-white I think that would look so good for summer. Right so next I picked up a pair of leather trousers and I feel like haters are gonna say that leather trousers aren't the spring summer but for me they definitely are because I wasn't able to fit into my leather trousers all through last autumn um, but regardless I feel like we live in the UK and there is no like consistency with the weather it might be like really nice and sunny for a day but then you can go back to it feeling like winter pretty much the next anyway in terms of like the rain and the wind and all of that um, but yeah these obviously aren't for the hot days these are for the much cooler days they're for when you do need a little bit of added warmth I guess but regardless I really wanted them for spring because I love leather trousers and I love black regardless of whether it is summer spring winter or whatsoever I think black is for every season and for every mood but anyway I picked up two pairs of leather trousers because they had two different styles that I thought looked quite nice so these ones are in a bit of a flip Fit. It's not like a really dramatic flare, but they definitely do sort of flare out a little bit towards the bottom of the leg. Um, and these ones I got in a size 12, so they fit nicely ish, but they gape around the back, which is quite annoying. Like they fit my legs really nicely, they fit my bum really nicely, but it's just that they gape. As I said, I got them in a 12, so I don't know if I could have gotten away with getting a 10, but as I said, I think they fit pretty well. So I don't necessarily think that I could get away with them being any smaller. The other pair that I picked up, I'm not even able to really show you them in a try on clip just because they were so tight. <laughs> They're exactly the same size, but they are in a straight leg. And I love the straight leg look more than what I like the flares. So I think I'm just gonna send these ones back and order the straight legs in a bigger size and then I will show you them in the next Zara haul. <laughs> anyway, I've shown the leather trousers, start with my khaki blazer again because I love those tones together and I just finished it off with my white Air Force and I just think that looks like a really nice chic outfit and I love it. Lastly, I picked up this big oversized trench coat which is in a khaki colour again but this is a bit more of like an olivey toned khaki and I really love this colour. I do really love the shape of this trench coat just in general. I think it's absolutely lovely. It's massive. You feel like really snug whilst you're in it. I'm always a bit of a sucker for trench coats and I feel like Zara always has really nice ones that are pretty affordable. So I got this one in a small just because it said on the website that it was an oversized fit so I knew it would be fine and it's massive regardless. It's got like really lovely big sleeves the buttons on it are again really pretty they're like a light sort of tortoise shell again the only pet peeve that I have with this one is that it only has one belt loop at the back so the belt just falls straight down and I really don't like that I really like it to have belt loops at the side so that the belt falls either at either side or you bring it through the side loops and then tie it up at the back 
so that you can get your trench coat to stay slightly open and show off like what you're wearing underneath. So that has really annoyed me and I never thought that belt loops could cause so many grievances. <laughs> but yeah, rant over. This is a nice trench coat apart from that. And I have just shown it styled with the leather trousers and I love how that works together. Those two materials work really nicely together. I always think trench coats and leather trousers look really good. Um, but obviously with this one, you could just wear it with denim as well underneath and it would look really nice and casual. But I think for like a little bit more of like a slightly dressed up look, a pair of black trousers or just like a complete like black outfit underneath it looks really good really nice and chic but yeah it just needs a couple more belt loops and then it would be absolutely perfect right so that's everything i have to show you today i really hope that you've enjoyed this haul if you have please don't forget to subscribe so you can see more from me and also don't forget to let me know what your favorite item was down below in the comments